but I remember being told in school that the Earth was one billion years old. Now they say the Earth is four billion years old. Haven't been out of school that long. But all kidding aside, that's the serious problem evolution is face. As modern science catches up with the countless theories that have been carelessly thrown out as factual over the years. Evolutionists face yet another dilemma. True science has proven that life is extremely complex. In fact, infinitely more complex than their evolutionary theories have accounted for. So, with the increase in complexity, more time was needed to allow for their supposed evolution to take place. So they tried to solve the problem by adding years, sometimes even millions of years, to account for the huge amount of time it would take for such complex variations to develop. which is one of the many embarrassing reasons why our science textbooks keep changing. By the way, the Bible has never needed changing, never needed upgrading. It's always been proven by science and archaeological evidence to be 100% accurate. We've all heard about the great discoveries of dinosaur bones and about how they've been dated to be millions of years old. So that proves the Earth is at least that old, doesn't it? Not in the least. Because the median evolutionists leave out a few more facts here as well. For years, carbon dating was believed to be the best way to accurately date artifacts. But recently, experts have discovered it's not as accurate as evolutionists would like you to think. For example, carbon dating indicated live snails had died 27,000 years before. Scientists now know that carbon-14 dating is only useful for estimating things which are thousands of years old, not millions or billions. It works well on things like cloth or wood, but it doesn't work well on mineralized fossils or rocks. If I took this to a laboratory and said, would you please date this, they would say, oh, well, we'd have to use something other than carbon dating because this is too old for carbon dating. No, Kent, they wouldn't. They'd say, Hey, Heaven, we can't carbon date this. There's no f***ing carbon in it. And carbon-14 isn't the only faulty dating system. Scientists radiometrically dated the lava dome of Mount St. Helens, which erupted in 1980. The results... Even though the lava was less than 20 years old, the test showed it was 3 million years old. Obviously, bad science. The truth is, scientists have never developed a reliable technique to test whether anything, including the Earth, is billions of years old. And the oldest fossils have only been legitimately dated to about 6,000 years.